Go for a start with the Jew belt, or the stick, or the pole, or your stretchy bands, whatever you have. Good morning, Robin. Nice smiley face. Hope you're all there. Morning, Kirsty. So, I know Kirsty for sure. We have a bit of sore hamstrings and um, shoulders, maybe from some of the judo and the weight sessions that you've been doing. Morning, Zoe. Good to see you. Oh, nice. Clip your hair back, ma'am. Very good. Okay, so let's get started just a couple of minutes after. So take your belt or your broom handle or your stretchy bands or elastics. And we are going to start nice and wide today. And we are going to start with our over and backs. So go nice and wide to start with. Go nice and wide just to start getting the shoulders mobilised. Should be no pain as such, might be a bit stiff or a bit sore or a bit tight. Caleb says hi, hi Caleb, good morning. I hope you're doing my stretch though. <laughs> we'll do a big stretch today, because I hope Caleb you'll be good at all this stuff because your little body, your big body will be stretchy. Okay, so just over and under and back, just a few more, just bring the hands in slightly, let me turn the radio down a wee bit, I hope you can hear me through the microphone, okay, so a little bit narrower, see if you can take them right over, and now it should be getting to the point where it's a little bit sticky, and it's a wee tiny bit difficult to take the arms back, so we're just pushing it a little bit more, but again, you want to keep the arms straight, you don't want to bend the arms. Morning Arlene, good to see you this morning. What about that? What about having a boy of 18 then? Eh? That's crazy. Okay, good work, really good. Okay, so nice and tall, let's go to one side. This is good. And let's go to the other side. So use the bottom hand to pull the top hand down. Try and keep the arms straight. And back to the other side. So really straighten out. You can see how straighten out the bottom arm and straighten the top arm. It's almost pulling it down. And once more on the other side. If you've got stretch elastics, it'll still work. Okay, just nice and soft from here, make a twist, keep the knees soft, allow the body to be long, pull the hands to the sky. And slowly to the other side, same again, nice and tall, make the spine feel really long, as though the top of your head is being pulled to the sky and the hands are being pulled up as well. So it's a really active stretch. And have a little rest there, good work. Whoa, really good. Shoulders are tight. Okay, same again, let's go narrow, so shoulder width pretty much. Let's go really tall, just hold it there for a moment, make that spine long. Take a couple of breaths in to find the position. Good work, and then let's go to the side. So same again, bottom hand pulls the top hand down. You probably won't stretch as far with this one. And change sides. Good. Still pull the hands away from the body, really active. You'll feel that stretching out the shoulders. You should feel a little bit better now the last few weeks. We've been doing a little bit more of this. Okay, back to the first side. So make it really active. And once more on the other side. And if you need a wee rest, a little rest, and then we're going to twist. It's in the back. Pull the hands up. Make the 
spine tall and long. Caleb, if you're doing this, you'll be so good at this one. You'll almost twist round back to the front. And change sides, good. Excellent work. And nice and loose there. Okay, well done. So this time, take the belt. So we've done it before. So hang the belt or the broom tall with one hand and then reach behind with the second hand and pull it down. So the bottom hand's pulling the top hand down. So in fact, both both hands, both arms, both shoulders are stretching. So the bottom hand's really pulling down the top. Try and keep the elbow up high. I feel it in both shoulders, so both are working really hard. Try and relax the neck because if you strain too much, the neck will get tight. And relax, good. Change hands, so the other hand lifts it up tall. Then the one at the, the bottom, the back of the hand goes on the back, and then you grab here. So turn the hand back here and grab. This one goes high, as high as you can, take it up, and then pull the top hand down. Really good work, a good shoulder warm up, good shoulder stretch. Okay, we're going to go back to the belt or the broom in a moment, so just pop that down. So give the arms a shake, then bring this arm across, use the hand to push it, and if that's not enough, link the bend of the elbow in and push that across just like that. Morning Bruce, good to see you. Okay, so follow the arm round, now turn and follow the arm all the way around. So it should be a big stretch across the top of the arm, across the shoulder and into the back. And slowly back to the middle, change sides. So again, use the hand to push it across. If that's not enough, bend the elbow up to push like this. And then follow it round. slowly back, just a little bit of movement, so this time we did it the other, the other week, I think, or the other day, so hands come behind, they can touch or, or put one on top of the other or clasp, pin the shoulder blades together and puff the chest out and start to straighten the, straighten the arms away from the body, keep tall so no bends yet. So the shoulder blades are trying to touch at the back. The chest is puffed out tall and the arms are trying to straighten you. But it shouldn't straighten it's probably possible. Good work. Okay, so from here now, you're going to soften the knees, hinge out the hip, keep the back flat and let gravity take the shoulders over. And then you can start to round the back, take the chest towards the, the thighs, and bend. The head will get a, blood, a rush of blood to the head, so take your time. That's it, keep the shoulder blades pinched together. Good. A little bit further over. And slowly, slowly, because the head's full of blood. Slowly, slowly back up. Excellent, really good work. Okay, we're going to do the first part of that again, so it should be a little bit looser. So again, touch or clasp, pinch the shoulder.
shoulder blades together, and puff the chest out and straighten the arms. So the chest's really tall, can you see? Arms are trying to straighten. Good, now lift them high as you can to the, to the sky. Good. Pinch the shoulder blades together, come on, that makes them come up higher. And out, relax, excellent. Really, really good. Okay, take your broom or your belt, or whatever you have. I've done this sort of a couple of weeks ago, so we're gonna go wide first, as tall as you can. Remember, hinge at the hips, stick the bum out, flat back, and you're trying to keep the arms in line with the head as much as possible. Once they drop, then you've gone too far. Okay, so if you're here, then that's fine. If you can go a little bit further, even better. But as soon as they start to drop out the way, stop bending, which for me is pretty much about here. Because the shoulders are want to fall forward, they're screaming. Keep pulling away from the head, so pull the hands away from the head. And slowly back, excellent. And the shape, we'll do that again. So really good. You want to try and keep everything in line, everything stable, everything tight. So, nice and tall, soften the knees. Dig the heels in, toes should be light. Hinge at the hip, pull the hands away from the body, keep the arms as straight as possible, and stretch. Again, like the other ones, a really active stretch. Keep them, keep them arms in line, and back, good. That's a tough one, really tough. Okay, last one like that. Narrow grip, arms tall. So same again, pull the belly button in, soften the toes, slight bend in the knees, stick the backside out, hinge at the hip, and fold. the biceps alongside the ears and the head and pull the hands away from your body and you can feel that in the shoulders and the back. And relax. I am super tight today. One more like that. Nice and tall. Hinge up the hip. the arms by the head and pull the hands away from the body. And slowly, slowly and relax. Grab a quick drink and find a space. Still standing. Quick drink and then we'll go. Okay, so wide-ish and for this one we want the toes pointing forward okay so not the legs toes pointing forward and again you can put hands on the hips or hands on the shoulders or whatever hinge at the hip the back is flat and you stick your bottom out now you can change the feeling on the legs can go this way you can I want you sort of, ideally, like 90 degrees. You can change the feeling on the legs by widening the legs. So you can go a little bit wider and you'll feel more tension, more stress, whatever you want to call it. But ideally, I'd like you to be flat, hands on the legs, and just hold this position. Push the ankles over and to the outside of the feet. So they're not going to roll and push, but you're pushing to the outside of your foot, feet. Okay, good work. And this time now, a bit further, and you can bring the hands down towards the ground. Again, the wider you go, 
you might feel a slightly different stretch. Okay. So, so we can hang here and we can stretch and we shouldn't feel anything. Or we can push the bum back and stretch into it. Then you feel the tension on the hamstrings and the back of your leg. If you bring the tension off, we can stay here all day. Push back into the heels and sit the bum back and then you should feel the difference. So have a play about with feeling that difference. Tension off, stay there all day. Push the bum back, sit back into the heels, tension on. Good. And slowly, slowly bring the feet in slightly and come back to standing. Good. The next shape. We can do that once more, but we're going to run through it a bit quicker. So, feet wide, as wide as you think you need to go. Toes pointing forward, so the ankles are pushing out to the side. Hinge at the hip, but stick your backside out. This time, if you don't have to, don't hold on to the legs. Maybe put the hands on the hips, or we can go out like an aeroplane flat. Or if your shoulders are super good, unlike mine, you can go forward. If you go forward, you really hit the hamstrings. Okay, so hands on hips or hands to the side. Push those ankles out to the side of the feet. The hamstring tension's pretty high. Good. It's really tough, really, really tough. Slowly bring the hands to the ground. Stick that bottom back, so play with the tension. When you stick that bottom back, you feel the hamstrings working that bit more. Okay, so this is going to be killing you. And slowly bring them back in. Good. And slowly stand up. Give it a shake. Okay, one more thing standing, then we'll go into the ground. Morning, Stephen. Good to see you. Or oh, Steve, should I say. So, wideish squat position. This time the toes are diagonal. Okay, and all we do is we squat down and then we come back up. Then we squat down, knees out, come to 90. And back up. The reason it's wide, there should be less stress on the ankles. Wide and back. Okay, this time we're going to hold that position, but you can put the hands on the legs. So down to 90 if possible, or 90 as close to 90. Legs might need to go wider and then push on the knees or just hold on the knees. So gently, gently. Side to side, ever so gently. You should be pushing the knees out. You're almost trying to push the legs back that way. So then you feel the stretch here in the groin. So push the legs out and just gently side to side. Really good. And slowly back. So again, you might need to adjust it for you. So if you need to take the legs wide for the squat, take them wider. Toes out. Hands on hips, bend to 90. If you don't know where 90 is and you haven't got a mirror, probably go as deep as you feel you can go. Hands on the knees and push those knees out. Push everything back. Excellent. Gentle sway, side to side, just gentle. You feel the stretch, then you can feel where you need to move. Excellent. And slowly back up. Great work. Give everything a shake. Take your mat or find your position that's comfortable. Ground away and nice and rounded with the spine. 
Really push the hands down. That's where you'll feel the most benefit. It will allow you to round the back much better. Hope you've got your mat, man. And dip. Chest up. Head up. This is a fantastic exercise and it almost doesn't feel like you're doing too much. But it re it's really good for stretching out the spine, starting to mobilise everything and round. I mean, if, even if you only have five minutes one day and you need to do something, or do a set of cat cows, a, 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 a cobra where you blend the spine, and then some pushbacks in the leg, the baby position. Round, so dip the spine. And last one, the curve. Big, big, big push the ground away from the belly button into the spine. And dip. Good work. Feet together, knees wide, bum back, arms, hands away from the body, forehead on the mat, and dip the shoulders down. Or the armpits, as I normally say. Okay, you come through for the cobra. Remember, you can go off the forearms like this, or you can push all the way up, like this. We should now be a lot more mobile because we've done this for a few times in the last 8, 10, 12 weeks. Even a little bit closer to the body, elbow should almost be touching or touching the body. And back. This time the knees aren't wide, knees are just normal. Again, if this is too much for you, just sit back. You don't need to put your bum on the feet. Just pull the shoulders and the armpits towards the ground. And come through. To stretch the head to the sky. That's the sun coming out, ma'am. And once more, a quick one, back, push everything back. Take the pink fingertips away from the body. And then come through. Excellent. Okay, come into your tabletop position. I'll turn this way so you can see. Tabletop position and then to our plank position, you know what's coming next, and then step forward with one leg. So we're going to work hard on this position. Hands just about shoulder width apart, knee 90 degrees, back super flat. Okay, so work really hard on this position, back flat, take the head and the feet away from each other and keep everything nice and strong. And we're just going to hold this position. Sink the hip towards, not towards the ground, but slightly dip it towards the ground, but keep pulling that back leg away. And you'll find that you can stretch the groin, the front quad and the back quad as well. You want to be nice and strong and rigid. Push the ground away, keep the back strong. Drop the back knee and sit tie this side into the hamstring and try and take your head or chest towards your foot. So stay high this time and we're just taking the weight through the hamstring. Back to this position, hands down, back leg extended, knee off the ground, back really flat. And you can feel the stretch through the, the back hip, through the quad, 
and through the shoulders as well. Push the ground away. Keep looking down towards the ground. We want everything in line. Don't try and look up. Good. Keep making that active. Keep working hard. Knee down. Hamstring. Good. Keep tall. Toe pointing to the sky. And lean towards that hamstring. Uh, lean towards that foot. Excellent. You'll feel the back of the thigh, no Sarah, the back of the hamstring and the calf, really tweaky, really tight, and relax there. Okay, tabletop position, second leg, brings it up to the front hand, straighten the back leg, flatten the back, push the ground away. Take the head and the bottom of the foot away from each other so your spine and your body's nice and long. And make it really active. Sink the groin slightly to the ground by that. By doing that, you push the knee a tiny bit further forward. So if you push that knee a tiny bit, you can feel the stretch in the hip and the groin, in the inside, sorry. Knee down. up to the sky so you feel the tension and take the head slightly towards the foot. This is good and it's getting really hot, hot and sweaty. Hope you're doing this in the garden now. I'm pretty sure Kirsty will be in the garden. Okay, let's go back into that lunge. Push the ground away, back knee up. The arm close to the front foot. If you need to see, you can see this position here. It's almost, if not touching. Make everything flat. If you need to, dip the front knee like, literally half a centimeter and you can feel the groin stretching. Push the ground away, keep tall. Excellent. Drop the back knee. Toe to the sky, lean forward and stretch. Really good work. Excellent. That's it. If you need to dip a little bit further, dip a little bit further. Okay, slowly come out of that last one. Okay, since we're working on the hamstring, so nice and tall. Adjust your back and your bottom so that you're sitting on the bony bits of your bum. So that means that your back needs to be super tall. Legs as straight as possible. Toes pointing to the sky. So just hold that position because that's quite a, a tension position already. Okay, from here. Keep the legs straight. Again, you're trying to take your body towards your toes, which means you're not rounding the back so straight. And just lean. Okay, you can rest the hands on the legs, but literally you're just folding your body, but keeping the back straight. And then when you feel ready, you can lean a little bit more. This is where I feel that, in the calves, back of the legs, in the hamstrings, and I feel it in the lower back as well. So we come back to seating, adjust, make sure you're on the bony bits, nice and tall, hands on legs, and just lean towards your feet. I don't want you to fall down and lie flat. Can get your belly button onto your thighs. Just hold it. And come back to seating. Okay, loosen the legs, give them a shake. So 
that's us for today. If you have anything that you need to continue stretching, maybe that you've not stretched already and would make you feel good, um, why not just bolt it on at the end now because you'll feel much better doing it now rather than having a break and then trying to go again. So your body's pretty warm. So give it a shot and um, have a good day today. It's going to be a boiling hot today and have a great weekend and I'll see you all next week. Keep an eye out on the social media. It goes out on Sunday. Senior Quiz Friday. See you there at 8.15. Okay, take care guys. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.